Hi guys, so let's learn what you don't do. An amazing song, very groovy. And the first thing I I found consistent throughout the song was a triplet feel. Okay, so there are two ways to feel a triplet. One is you can actually count it over twelve beats in a four sequence. So that's one two three one two three three sorry one two three two two three three two three four two three right and i think that's a better way to count it than one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's going to go all the way to twelve and that's going to perhaps confuse a lot of you so feel it as triplets one two three four one so the entire song is based on triplets two ooh, ooh, three e e four so this could be a good practice before you start one uh, and two ooh, ooh, three e e four ooh, ooh, one uh, two ooh, ooh, three get the feel of the song <coughs> also known as the time feel or the rhythm feel for one uh, and two ooh, ooh, three e e four ooh, one so perhaps just try to say it with me Now say it on your own. One two three two two three 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 four two three one two three two three. Right. So that's the underlying feel of the song. The chords of the song are <clears throat> really really simple. It's pretty much a loop of this throughout, uh, except the breakdown where you just hold the chords. It's A major twice. A major again, E minor three four, E minor two three four. So a good way to start if you are not aware of that original pattern which I played. If you feel it's too advanced, you can just play the chords of the song. Two three four one two three. Four E minor two three four one two and we are going to build from here, right? You can even add triplets. So as you can see, it's slowly starting to sound like the song, right? So this feel will be nice to have in the right hand. If you can't get it, if your hands start paining, it's okay. You can go two, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. Okay. So what the keyboard player does in the right hand is not just triplets on A and uh, just static. He's doing. So that's C sharp, B C sharp, B C sharp. So I have noted down this part here. Do have a look at it. Consistently, he plays E and A. Otherwise, it would just be A major, which would be boring, right? So he goes. This is how he voices the E minor chord. Instead of playing E minor like this, he plays it like this A D G, which makes it very ambient. It's also what we call as a quartal voicing, where A is perfect fourth is D, and D is perfect fourth is G. So these are actually fourths with a bass being E. So these become very open-ended chords. It pretty much works with any bass, so I think that's why they chose this voicing because you have a very interesting bass line which I'm going to show you. So let's recap the right hand once more. E minor. You could now play the roots. Try to play it with these accents. Repeat. Oh. 
hold E. Now this this E minor chord is getting a bit boring, right? So that's where we have the bass part which I've written. E F sharp G B B B E F sharp G B B B and the B B B is a triplet and it's all on the same triplet feel so you go right that's your whole E minor component and A major the right hand does a little bit of a change and then E minor, the right hand plays A, D, G and just plays A, D, G pretty much and the bass climbs. So let's put this all together. The A major chord first. E minor. And for E minor, you play legato. And for A major, you play staccato. That means staccato, you chop the notes more. Legato, you play longer. Let's see how that sounds. You can even add an octave just for fun. Okay, and then there's a build up where you play the same E minor chord and you toggle your bass with B and G. And so on. So any time we go from verse to the chorus, you have that build up which is just a long E minor, E minor floating throughout, right? And then there's a breakdown where she goes A with C sharp, E minor 7th, e. so it's essentially the same chords but you just hold it, A major, A with C sharp bass, minor 7th, E minor 7th and then back to the groove, build up, back to And a couple of tips while playing triplets, since triplets are a bit difficult on the piano, it may hurt your hand. So if you see my wrist, I'm always keeping my wrist very, uh, uh, very loose, okay? And in some cases, in most cases, if my hand starts hurting, I try to move the wrist up and down to prevent my forearm from getting a lot of the strain. What you want to do is with the wrist, you can send it's a weird thing to say but you can send pain to this part of the wrist and then send some pain this side so your hand will pain but then it'll pain everywhere so i think that's a better thing than it just paining in one point and then it will get really really excruciating since this is a four minute song you need to i mean you you can't give up during a gig right so this is a trick which i follow while playing triplets so if you see the wrist is floating, the wrist is really, really stiff. In fact, if I drop it like this, it's almost as though it's not there. It's just very, very elastic and it's moving very, very smoothly. And that's how you need your wrist to be. And that'll, that'll allow you to play this for a lot of time, right? Without really struggling. It's pretty much three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? You may think this is a lot of energy, but in the long run, we are actually balancing energy and we are balancing it not just still here. We are balancing it across the entire arm. So when playing chords, you need to keep that in mind, especially when the chords are on the faster side, right? And try to not slam the chords with your, with your shoulder. 
you slam it with your shoulder what's going to happen is the sound itself sucks it's not going to be as ta 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 it's not going to groove so uh, i wouldn't advise you to use too much of your shoulder probably none of your shoulder because the shoulder tends to lose dynamics uh, while you play dynamics is that volume uh, volume component so as you can see it's just wrist forearm this part the shoulder and the elbow is pretty much doing nothing the elbow is just stationed here the shoulder is sleeping right right so there are a lot of songs like this which have a triplet feel uh, you if you like this song you can also try toto's hold the line uh, we'll probably put a youtube link that's a nice song to also learn if you like this triplet feel very piano driven very guitar driven uh, amazing lead solo so on and so forth right so hope you guys have fun playing this song and i'll see you in the next video cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers